I would do anything for my mother. I mean, she's, I'm so thankful for her. So my mother received a kidney from somebody else because I was not a match for her. And I donated through the exchange to somebody else. From the very beginning, I was willing to meet him or her if that person was willing to meet me. I mean, I always felt adamant. You, you hear all of these stories about these exchanges and people become your family. And my feeling is whatever we can do in this world to bring people together, I'm always all about that. So I would always want to meet that person just because it brings people together. Oh, hello, come on in. And the two came together along with their children. Felicia the donor and Silky the recipient met for an afternoon of painting pottery. Arts and crafts. Now what are your guys' names? I'm Rachel. I'm Kara. Rachel and Kara. Super cool. Tara, Tara with a T. Yeah. All right, I'll get it right eventually. Yep. I'm Silky. You can call me that too. Silky? Yeah, Silky. Oh, that's pretty. So I don't even know who donated in that whole exchange on my behalf. Like, totally right. clueless. Like, right. grateful stranger. Yeah. Aww. So. It's like, I'm just, I just owe it to all sorts of strangers. Some of my friends were, you're such a hero. And I always said, you know what? The people that are really the hero are the ones that are willing to do it for just a stranger without the motivation that I had. I'm so glad I did it. You know, I really am so glad I did it. And it's almost like I'm on like this like euphoric high, which people warned me about. But depends how you react, but I just feel really good. It feels good to do good. So that's what I would say about this. I feel like I've benefited more than I would have ever expected. I can't believe it's done. Like my mom and I still pinch ourselves that everything went really well.